Yeah. Rico got that vibe. Yeah. Money make the motion. Got hood make the money. And bitch, I'm from the trenches. I'm trying to see a hundred. Ain't yeah. never been a bitch. You can't say nothing from me. And when I was a young kid, I swear I stayed on yeah. me. I'm on a mission. Got me cooking in the kitchen. Bitch, I leave my pots dirty. Let my hype strip the dishes. Yeah. I'm familiar with that dope. And I know that root of beggar. Mm -hmm. You ain't get no money if you don't keep a group of all right, welcome to the 290 More Podcast. I appreciate your time. If you could, introduce yourself to my viewers and listeners. Yo, it's your girl, Shelly Bangs, your Out West Goat. Out West Goat, how you doing, Shelly? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I've been seeing the work, man. What's, what's, well, let's start at the beginning. I like to start at the beginning, man. So, um, nah, man, excuse me. I like to start at the beginning. So, <laughs> <laughs> if we could, where you from? Where you grow up? I'm from Out West 290, gang. What you mean? Okay, what you mean? Out West a big, a, a big place, man. Oh, I'm from down the street. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> town. Okay, okay, for sure, for sure. So what was your experience like growing up, growing up in the hill? Um, I was cool. My mama yeah, took care of me. For sure. I was the youngest. Uh, my mama had me at like 32, so she already had her experience with raising kids. Mm -hmm. I was cool. I was spoiled. Mm -hmm. I'm the baby. Uh -huh. What was your aspirations coming up? As far as music? As far as, no, nah, just, you know what I'm saying, doctor, lawyer, like, you know what I'm saying, when you coming up, uh -oh. what, did you, what did you want to be coming up? I definitely wanted to be a lawyer, mm -hmm. for sure. I even took a couple extracurriculars in that, in middle school type shit, but mm -hmm. um, I really wanted to be a doctor, went to college, that shit, that shit was hard as fuck. Mm -hmm. So I said, fuck that. And I changed my major to um, behavioral health and wellness, and I became a therapist mm -hmm. for autistic children. That's crazy. My son, my son is autistic. Mm. Yes, I have yeah. a son. He know, he know what it's about. <laughs> I'm I got a yes. son that's autistic. That's something that we are uh, learning about and dealing with. He's he's three now. Definitely a lot, but it's. Yeah, it is. Take time, but it's possible. What made you get into that? Because that's not easy, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's tough. Shit, My well, son do some shit sometimes. I be like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 nah, for real. Um, I just like the way people think. Mm -hmm. And I like the human mind. So the fact that there is, like, people that don't have the normal human mind, like, that shit interesting to me, like... Mm -hmm what makes them click like what makes them do the things that they do mm -hmm. so i was interested in that once i changed my major start taking all them psychology classes that shit was fun mm -hmm. and do you still enjoy enjoy that i'm not a therapist at the moment i was a therapist from i was a therapist for three years and i i had to cool down because like they had me working working mm -hmm. that shit was three clients a day for three hours every day and i was working in um Aurora. Mm -hmm. So that shit was far as hell. You know that? For sure. It was a lot. So that shit, was, it was stressful, you know, having, and I had clients who only wanted to see me. So mm -hmm. with they other people, with they other therapists, they would act up with me. Okay. So right. then they'll put them kids like on my, which was not a problem, but it's just, it just takes so much like energy and some stuff they do be sad. So it's like, mm -hmm. damn, like I think about that type of shit when I go home. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up, a, you know, a connection with right. the parents and the kids. That's so. only natural. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to take a break. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Was that is that something that you would recommend to somebody else? Would you ever do it again? Was it? Hell yeah, uh, I'll do it again. Okay, for yeah, sure. I'll do it now. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> give, me the, give me the job. Okay, okay. So so back to coming up, like what, what was you listening to? What was being played in the household as far as music? Like coming up on the music side. Um, my sisters are 15 years older than me, so we was listening to Missy, Busta. Um, I ain't really listened to no R&B like that. Even my mama was on with whatever we was listening mm -hmm. to. Um, I was a big Beyonce fan, uh, Wayne, um, house music for mm -hmm. sure. Are you the baby of the family? So yeah. does, does your parents just like have kids and, and get old and like we're going to baby now? And then that's when no, you came see, in? We ain't, ain't none of us got the same mom and dad. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> none of us. My three sisters on my mama's side, we all got different dads. Okay. And I'll just ask because it was spread apart like that. I was just wondering. Yeah, no. Okay, for sure. No. Okay, so, so uh, you named a lot of influential people, you know what I'm saying? So what made you, or, or if you could remember, you know what I'm saying, when did you take your first, you know what I'm saying, stab at, at creating your own music? Well, I always been a creator. Um, I think I was like seven when I mm. literally wrote my first song. I always did poetry, so I felt like 
that shit was the same thing, damn now. Mm-hmm. Um, you can listen to any one of my songs without the beat in the background. It's going to sound like a poem. Mm-hmm. I, I could spit it right now. It's going to sound like a poem. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I've been writing poems. that, that We had little projects in like middle school, write a poem, this, that. I took writing, all of that. So it's it's been a thing for me. Mm-hmm. What was some of that subject matter right like in them early writings? Like, what was you talking about at seven? You know what I'm saying? What was you? Shit, my lip gloss. <laughs> literally. Mm-hmm. Literally. Like, colors, uh, little shit, playing the game. Mm-hmm. I'm a, uh, my sister's had kids, so I'm an aunt. And I've been an aunt since I was two. So I was rapping about them, putting them in the music. Just, mm-hmm. just little shit. Mm-hmm. Nothing, nothing like I'm rapping now, of mm-hmm. course, but yeah, just little shit. For sure, for sure. So let's get into like how you rapping out, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy to to say you come from a, a poetry background just because the, the way your music sounds now is like real raw, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't expect that to come like from a poet, you know what I'm saying? It seemed, <laughs> it seemed like, like a gangster or something, you know what I'm saying? I am a gangster. <laughs> Stop playing with me. So, so talk to me about your creative process. Like how do you come up, you know what I'm saying, with, 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 your, with your craft? Um, when I'm writing a song type shit, I listen to the beat a million times. Mm-hmm. If I ain't feeling it, we got to go to the next beat. Um, I usually try to just pick a subject and roll with that. Um, I definitely have to listen to the beat a million times because I got to know each instrument that's playing, each drop that's going on. Um, listen to the beat as I'm writing and go from there. Everything mm-hmm. just pour out. As soon as I got a subject that I want to talk about, Every every experience that I've ever had is coming to my mind. I'm writing about it, putting mm-hmm. in the song. Mm-hmm. Well, when you writing these songs, is it is it a vibe or do you got like a plan in man? Like I need one for the radio. I need one for for my for my girls. I need one for the club. Or is it just a vibe every time you? It be a vibe, mm-hmm. honestly. What what's your favorite kind of song to make? <laughs> Drill shit. Why 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 is it the drill? Know. Why is it the Cause drill? Cause I'm an angry you, ass bitch. But the way you you going you gonna blow with the way you coming though on shorty. Cause it's like you, <laughs> you like the glow of Chicago or something the way you coming on shorty. So it, I'm it, trying. Y'all need to tone the fuck in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So do you? Was you all? Did you always have that style? Is that something you developed as time went on? Like where? Yeah. Well, yeah. How, how, how did you being come? Being a G. On? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, come on, you know how you coming on them beats, man. I had to. You know, because, man. like I said, I'm a poet. So I feel like how I feel while I'm writing this because I'm not saying no fake shit. Like I'm, I'm really speaking how I, how my mind is. Mm. So that if I'm, if I sound angry in the song, I was mad. Like whatever time I was writing about, I was mad. Mm -hmm. Like period. Mm -hmm. That shit come from getting bullied about being a different shade of a nigga. Literally. What they used to call you? White girl. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Michael Jackson like damn <clears throat> like I'm still a nigga bro mm-hmm. I don't understand that shit but y'all can have it mm-hmm. speaking of that talk to me about like your peers in, in the music industry like what's what's your views on on the people that that's a part of this industry with you like, shit for one I feel like motherfuckers supporting a lot of whack ass shit um like who mm, nah. talking about like who <laughs> Look, y'all ain't finna mess up my features. I still do a feature with them hoes, <laughs> but that shit is trash. My soul, buddy. So I kill y'all shit on <laughs> anybody. Mm-hmm. But um, I just feel like, I mean, let let the women win. Let everybody win. I ain't taking away from nobody shine. So, mm-hmm. shit, do y'all shit. Support who y'all want to support. Mm-hmm. Being- I do feel like it's it's more of a hype than art. Mm-hmm. in it now it's, it's not about uh who rapped the best it's not about who got the best bars it's about who gonna get up on the stage who get in their music videos and be naked as hell shaking their ass showing their ass y'all ain't seen shall we do that yeah for sure it's definitely what they push but you know people who really you know what i'm saying in tune with music you know what i'm saying they like people like you mm-hmm. that, that's really bringing that quality music for so no, i definitely sure. say keep doing what you're doing you know what i'm saying you're gonna definitely take a rocket ship up out this motherfucker in a minute so with that being said uh talk to me about working with other artists as far as you know what i'm saying doing features you know what i'm saying i seen you got a feature with uh charlie 
That's the name. You got what? What's it like working with other artists? Is is that <laughs> something that you enjoy doing? Something you rather not do? Only with gang members? What, what's that like? <laughs> Let me know First it. All, I'm on know. Charlie ass because he supposed to send me my song yesterday and last week and last month. But me and Charlie, we got two songs. Well, we got three songs. One ain't out. Um, the video to one supposed to be dropping. Um, working with other artists is is a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. I'd rather sometimes work with by myself unless the artist is on my type of time and on my mm-hmm. type of bag and on my type of creativity, like. I don't like no running gun ass videos. I don't like no videos where there ain't no, no creative background. We in the fucking crib. I don't. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. At least if we go to a crib, have a fucking backdrop. Like I, I, I just can't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, people don't be. I feel like a, a lot of people don't be. They haven't put music first yet. Let me just say that I can't say that they not serious, but they haven't put music first yet. Like I, I quit being a therapist and. Literally was driving Uber for a whole year, making making uh fifteen hundred two k a week off that shit, just to do all them fourteen music videos that I did in twenty twenty three. Like I I literally got You're going to, crazy on that shit. Sure. Literally, that's like already, sixty hours a week on the Uber on shorty. That's <laughs> now nah, it was like forty. Oh yeah, two mm-hmm. k that ain't bad. Forty hours ain't bad. Oh, I'm sure. But that's hustling, though. Yeah. Oh, hustling like a I'm motherfucker. Sure. You got to deal with motherfuckers every day, all day. That's why they That's why they fired my ass off that bitch. Because I'm not playing. You like, bugged up on somebody on the Uber. Three times. Oh, three strikes you out. I, I bugged up more than three times. Give, give us the worst one real quick. What's, what's, how, how, how do you get bugged and up in, in, in a Shelly Uber, man? How do you get bugged up on First of all, motherfuckers got in my car <laughs> talking. With, I like silent rides. Can we listen to the For music? Sure. Sure. Can I just take you where you need to go? I don't For really sure. want to talk. So, uh, somebody got in my car and said, like, I need somebody to love me. And I ignored <laughs> it. Because I'm like, maybe he not talking to me. He was like, did you hear me? And I say, I know you not talking to me. Like, I just know you not talking to me. I know you got some AirPods on, I'm sure. He was like, what you mean? Like, I, I just need a little love today. I was like, well, I can't help you, shorty. And after all of that shit, he just kept on talking. He was shouting. He was rambling about whatever. I tuned that shit all the way out, turned the music up, and I started speeding. Mm-hmm. You have to get out of my car. I had to pull over a couple times. Do you need a new driver? Like, I I don't have time for that bullshit. Mm-hmm. Just sit back there, shut the fuck up. You ever felt unsafe? Hell no. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Did you have, like, certain areas that you stayed out of? Anything? Hell it was just, no. You just turned that bitch on. Whenever that shit had a double digit... He was out there. I'm gone. I'm sure. That's what's up, man. I'm gone. So, so, <laughs> so talk to me about balancing real life. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you was doing all that at the same time, putting out all these videos and recording this music. So, well, I'm assuming you was recording music at the same mm-hmm. time. So, how do you balance all that? You know what I'm saying? And if it's not too much of a compound question, talk to me about your support system as well. Like, um, Balancing that shit, uh, well... I, I pay for everything myself. Ain't nobody ever paid for no session, no music video, except one of my cameramen. Um, he paid for an outfit uh, for the music video because I didn't have it at the time. But um, it was actually around the time Uber fired me, literally. <laughs> but, um, you know, you get fired off Uber. I'm sure somebody wrote a hell of a review on your ass. A couple sure. times. <laughs> <laughs> like 365 days. You know, I can pop off at any minute. <laughs> But um, balancing it out was I I ain't really get no sleep because I'm trying to, like you said, record, get shit together, get everything together with the artists. I was working. I was making all that money because I was doing Uber um, at night. Mm -hmm. Like I started like eight, nine at night and go to the morning type shit, get them airport rides, get them people getting off work, you know, who work them overnight jobs, people going into the job, you know, switching shifts. So I I really ain't getting no sleep for real. Um, it was a lot of planning. Um, when it came to support, I, I really just did everything myself. I ain't going to lie. Like, I, I really took control over 2023. Mm-hmm. When the artist wasn't ready to shoot a music video, okay, fine. I'm going to go shoot a different music video because I already got the funds for it, you mm-hmm. know. So that's how that was. Um, this year is a little different. I'm getting a little more support as far as um, people posting for me. I Motherfuckers weren't even posting that shit for me, like weird but uh i'm getting a lot of um support from other artists now like a lot of other artists support me i've been trying to tune in with the people um a song 
just dropped yesterday, 290, 294, with me and Big Mouth Bo. Y'all go check that out. I don't know if you know that how. Like some high speed. That sounds like some high speed shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Check, check that out. out. I'm sure. 290, 294. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, um, it's been cool though. I, I feel like I'm a strong ass woman, so I can handle anything. Mm-hmm. Ain't no balancing it out. I just mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Crazy, you just said you a strong ass woman, even though I know you a gangster, you know what I'm saying? But talk to me <laughs> talk to me about being a female in the in the male dominated industry. Like what's what's your experience been like on that side? Oh my god, thank you. I'm sorry, I just got a gift. <laughs> <laughs> um shit. Niggas wanna do features with me, so what they dominate. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, you know, niggas be owning the studios, they be on the cameras, they be, right. you know what I'm saying, the promoters and shit, you know what I'm saying, See, shit like well, that. Well, I use the same people, so when I started doing music, whoever I started with, I'm that's who I'm still doing my shit with. The same studio that I first walked into, that's the same people I'm, I'm doing my music with. He and his crib, um, the Sweatshop Studios, and then uh, as far as cameraman, I work with two cameramen, uh, they've been rocking with me since I started. And who else you say? <laughs> uh, just, you know what I'm saying? Artists, just engineers, you know um, what I'm saying? Pro- talk to me about uh, promoters. Everybody be well, cool. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I don't really have no problems when it comes to like, <clears throat> not not no more at least, uh, when it comes to like people being on that type shit. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I'm one of the guys, so. Mm-hmm. Right, that's why I say I know you a gangster, you know what I'm saying? I just, yeah. that's the question I ask the females, so you know what I'm saying? I yeah, I'm one of the guys. For sure. Don't play with me. For sure. Okay, so what do you say to people who be like, man, females shouldn't be doing drill music because, you know what I'm saying, when they get hurt, then, ooh, ooh, like. Why not? I'm not I'm just Anybody wanting, just could get hurt. Shit. Yeah, for sure. Facts. Anybody Facts. could get hurt. Mm-hmm. Shit. You can get hurt. For sure, I, I didn't been hurt. Oh, that's right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. I mean, like I said, if if motherfuckers is like music is an expression, bro. Like it's it should be how you feel type shit. Like it shouldn't be nothing fake about it. So if a bitch is mad, that's what if that's what she want to rap about. Bitch, you mad? I got a song called "You Mad." Y'all go check it out. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I don't think it's nothing wrong with women doing drill music. It's a, a form of expression. Like people express themselves with their hair, their nails, their outfits, their voice. So mm-hmm. it is what it is. Okay, okay. Fuck what a nigga got to say. You know that. Okay. What well, What's your favorite thing about what you do? What's the favorite thing about what you do? I really like shooting music videos. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. What's, what's, That's what's... my fave. I like doing all that shit. Mm-hmm. Like finding a venue, putting it together. Uh, seeing who gonna come out to the video and support. Uh, I like notes. Uh huh. Taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like you know getting the different looks, getting the makeup. I like all that. I just like creating. Period. So. For sure. Okay. Uh, what's your least favorite thing? If you had to take one thing away about what you do, what would it be and why? Take it away, shit. If it was from dealing with people to the dealing business with, side. To, I would say that. Mm-hmm. Just dealing with people who say they ready and they really not ready. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm going to do it this day. And I it, a week done passed. Like, mm-hmm. just let me know. Like, if it's a it's an issue, let me know. But it'd be music that I'd be ready to drop. Like, I'm ready to shoot the music video to this now. And it'd be like, oh, well, I just moved. And, like, it's a music video that I just dropped called Jump Some with another artist and we did that video in the summertime and it just dropped this year. What the fuck is that? God's plan. I, I didn't understand that. But like, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm happy it dropped this year so I can have a little more content for the year. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah. So, with doing music, you know what I'm saying, um, you you deal with a lot of people who may know you that you may not know. You know what I'm saying? What what's that like been for you? Is you cool with that? You know what I'm saying? Is you getting used to being out and about amongst the people and people knowing you? Honestly, yeah, I've been. I ain't gonna lie, I've been Shelly Banks for a long time. My fault. Keep being you a gangster, <laughs> short. My bad. Name been ringing bells out here. <laughs> and I come from a dancing background. Like I used to be a hip hop choreographer, so mm. that's when I first even put that name on myself type shit um i go to a lot of shows and people come up to me but a lot of them people be following me on instagram and i got a really good memory so if you let me know your instagram name i'll be like oh yeah i'll be seeing you in my likes i'll be seeing you in my comments like it'd be cool that shit just happened to me um on saturday 
uh, last Saturday when I had went to a performance uh, from Sean Shondell hosted the performance and DJ K Caesar was the DJ. And some people came up to me like, yo, Shelly, what's up? And I'm like, damn, well, I know I've never seen this person a day in my life. But once they told me, oh, I'm this person from Facebook or whatever, I'd be like, oh, OK, cool. Mm -hmm. You mentioned doing everything by yourself. Any management, any no. teams, any deals, any anything? No. Are you looking for anything? You nope. not not interested? If it ain't Wayne, Drake, or Nicki trying there to go. sign me, I don't want it. Period. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. Doing everything by yourself. What do you learn? You know what I'm saying? Like the the where to go to the studio the first time, like where to get a cameraman the first time, like where to sign up for distro kid. Where did you get this information at? Um, well, when it came to music videos and shit, I just did my research in Chicago. I did that shit on Instagram too. Like I just hashtag Chicago, found a video man, and we've been rocking ever since. Um, other people music videos, like I got one cameraman for a certain type of video, and then I have another cameraman for that other certain type. Like, if I wanted to just be some quick, I'm going to rock with him because he's going to make the quick video look like a movie. Mm -hmm. But if I actually want a movie, then I'm going to go to another person. Um, so I just stick with him. Uh, as far as studio, somebody had found me on Instagram and asked me to do a song with them. And he actually wrote the song about me. He took me to his studio, and I ain't, I ain't left since. Mm -hmm. And he ain't left since, mm -hmm. like... He was at every studio session that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And and with that, do you work like when you do other projects with other artists? Do you bring them into to y'all, or do you? you I know, try to. Do you send them to work, or how does that work? Yeah, I try to. I try to send them to my people just so like everything could be smooth. Mm -hmm. Because some producers be like, "Oh, I don't want to send them this because I already done edited or whatever the case." Just goofy shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I try to push them in, but if it's an artist, like when I did the feature with Big Mouth Bow and shit, um, I went to her studio and they he had that shit literally done before we left. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, performing in front of uh, Shondell and having KC's a DJ. If you could talk to me about some other highlights of your career, like some personal highlights of your career. Uh, it's it's a lot, not a lot, but I don't I've done so fucking much. It's crazy. Um, let me see. I won a competition, and it was not a Chicago competition. It was, I think it was like California when they had the um, Rolling Loud, mm -hmm. and Nikki was supposed to open. They had a competition for free tickets, and I won the free tickets and didn't even go because <laughs> that shit was like the next day. Niggas, <laughs> that shit was the next day. I couldn't even go see Shorty ass. Um, you're supposed to drop everything crazy in trouble man. <laughs> man but um, what else I've won a couple of competitions I got to open up for Ace Hood mm -hmm. um, who else um, I really appreciate I am a big fan of Big Mouth Bow so I do appreciate her asking me for a feature um, and we rock that bitch go listen to 290 Um, I, I can't really I can't really say because I've done so many fucking shows and so much. Like, I got a shout out from Red Man mm -hmm. with his 80 bar challenge. He shouted me out, uh, you know, for my challenge. That was dope. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Comments from celebrities on Instagram. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Shit. Okay. What's, do you ever get discouraged? Hell no. Do you ever be like, fuck this shit. I'm going to go back to work. Shit, I'm back at work. Well, do you be like, fuck this shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm just finna work. I'm finna work, stack my money up. No. Because yeah. I don't even, like, I can't say I don't do music for the people because I do. But I li I do music because I like it. Like I, like I said, I'm a creator. I like creating. And everybody do content anyway with their little makeup videos and this and that. Why I can't make content rapping, you know? So I just feel like if you can do that, why don't I just do the extra push and do it for real, for real. Not for no play shit. Mm -hmm. When what so what's the goal? What the goal? What's the goal? What are you trying to obtain? Shit, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I just I just want to get my sister out of prison, mm -hmm. and I want to help my city. Um, I want to help the homeless. I want to go ahead and build some house, build some housing units for the homeless. It's I feel like it's too many people out here, and we doing shit for other people who already got it. It just don't make no sense. So. 
helping the city get some more housing for these people because we got the land shit half the fucking shit is abandoned in the damn way facts like dude come on now y'all knocking shit down put some meaningful shit up and get my sister out she been in prison since 2007 it's time to get the fuck up out of there mm -hmm. okay for sure so um let's talk about this rap beef that you went to so um what rap beef oh well the people in Nas land <laughs> <laughs> I had to see if I was gonna get some. You know what I'm saying? So no, no rap Let beef. Me know. I mean, Let me you know. was a real artist. What's no. up, ho? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> now I had two little incidents. I word. Yeah, I, one I, got resolved. One, I don't know what the fuck is up. Shit. You don't know what's up, but it's up. Yeah. How, is it rap beef? Is it personal turnt rap? Is it old friends turn foes? Well, not no, foes, foes, one of foes. them is an actual rap beef. Uh, I don't want to say no names because this is uh, my for sure my podcast with 290 Mo. Period. Yeah. Um, but somebody was supposed to be on the top five song with me and the four other girls. Uh, well, no, okay, let me scratch that. Who the she, other girls is? Starlet Banks, Lil Jada, Only One Brielle. I heard. I know that. I know that. I and Bunny. That. I Lou. Seen that. I yeah. Seen that. I've been seeing your work for a long time. Yeah, thank well, you. All 2023, you, you, you stand on that, I'm sure, because I, I want to see I seen you perform at Trap. Yeah, a long I did. time ago. I did perform at Trap. Last time it was cold outside. Cold as fuck, always. <laughs> <clears throat> For sure. So you definitely putting that work in. Yeah. Talk to me about ways you promote yourself as an artist. Like, how do you get yourself out to people who may not know or, or heard your music before? Um. Well, for one, I stream live on an app that has people from all around the world. Um, I rap on there. Uh, I think people only know me on this app as Shelly Bangs the rapper, mm -hmm. like nothing else. I don't put no other type of personal information on that bitch. Mm -hmm. uh, motherfuckers from Jamaica, uh, other countries. Somebody just told me they was rocking out to my shit in California uh, during a session that they, some type of session that they have. Um, I don't inbox people links type shit but I do just, you know, share on all platforms. So I go through every platform and share it and tag my actual music link. I don't never just share no shit that's not out. Like everything got to be out for me to share. So you can actually be like, oh, I like this. And where this at? You just click that link and you're going you gonna to have a song. Mm. So that word of mouth, you know, my people been starting to support a little bit. So people, you know, hey, you know, this rapper Shelly Bangs, you know, people been doing a big one for me. Uh, you said you do everything on your own, but are you like looking for like somebody like help you do things? Like nope. not not at all, you know. Unless you gonna give me some money, shit. That's you're all. You supposed to get them some money. You supposed to have you an assistant. That's pretty out of way. An around. assistant? Yeah, you need. In a minute, when you, I you got gonna... it. Like everything. Watch when she get that bag, y'all. Y'all gonna go back to y'all gonna see her in the airport <laughs> with her assistant. One of my home. nieces or one of my nephews. <laughs> Yeah, okay, for sure, for sure. Keep yeah, it, I got man. thirteen of them motherfuckers. Keep Somebody it, can come on. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure. What you doing music? Is it ever a time like? Do you ever like venture into other genres of music, or is it just strictly hip hop? I ain't gonna lie, I don't like the other shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I don't, I don't. I I only listen to hip hop, rap, R and B, trap, like. I don't even like R&B like that unless it's uh, Mary either. J. Mm -hmm. Blige. Unless it's the right <laughs> time for it. Yeah, Janae, how you go? I love mm -hmm. you, baby. That's it. Mm -hmm. Drake, that's it. Mm -hmm. But, now, I I mean, if it's a song that, like, say somebody wanted me to be on a R&B song or whatever the case, I'm I'm going to rap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Give me, give me some of your top artists in the city right now. In this city? Yep. This city, <sighs> or maybe say out west. You can, you can say to do the city though. No, nah, we're gonna do the city. Um, Big Mouth Bow, of course. Charlie, um, I'm a, I'm gonna say you, but you need to send me my motherfucking song. Like that song, raw as fuck. I need that. We were supposed to do an interview. It's coming soon though. It's coming soon. Is he playing still? Cause I call his ass. He ain't playing. We just had to re redo it. You know what I'm saying? He missed the first one, but oh know. okay. Well, we had to redo it. That's all. Um, it's on the way though. It's coming. The DPG boys been doing a big one. You know that. Um, I'm fucking with the music. Um, I do like Moni from the Masquerade song. Mm -hmm. Moni, is that how you say her name? I don't know who that is. I know. I know. 
I it's the little one. I, mean, <laughs> I like the song. Damn, yeah, damn, damn. It's the little one. Okay. Yeah. Um. And G Herbo. Know that. Okay, okay, for sure. With you doing music in the city, do you ever feel like, you know what I'm saying, that drill is bad for like the kids or for like the youth or anything like that? Or do Shit, you feel they like. bad as hell. But some people say it's because of the music. Hell no. So you don't think it's because of the music? It's because that's how your mama and your daddy let you uh, come up. Ain't got shit to do with no damn music. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like saying, oh, this is a violent painting. My child has seen it. Let He's going to go, like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm... No, you you teach your child right from wrong. And you this music is, is lit, but it's not what you do. You just listen to it. Like, simple. Mm-hmm. Like, my mama, I ain't never killed nobody. I mean, I will. But I ain't never had to. I ain't never been in that situation. I can't say music made me that way. I, I'm, I'm going to say how I was raised made me that way. To stay mm-hmm. on guard, be cool, and if shit pop off, you pop off. Period. Facts. Facts. My mama told me to go to school, do all my homework. I did all that. Graduated high school, graduated college. I was valedictorian in eighth grade. Graduated number 11. Now I did everything my parents told me to do. You, you have to know how to raise a child. If you're not ready for no kids and you let music and computers and iPads and tablets control their life, that's y'all, literally. Mm-hmm. With- I ain't got no kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't got no kids. Okay, okay. You made me forget my damn question. Sorry. It's all good. It's just uh, my eye medicine. I'm oh, sure. I need to take some more. I need some too. For my glaucoma. I'm oh, sure. I ain't got that. I'm just blind. Me neither. I just say that because my mom be watching sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. But no, so. Uh, when you when you doing music and you see other artists doing things like you mentioned earlier, you know what I'm saying. And sometimes it's about you know what I'm saying what's hot, like what people following and shit. Do you ever be like, I gotta make a song like that? I gotta do a flow like that? Do you ever be like, I'm just ride they wave just because that's what everybody's smoking right now? Or? Hell no, mm-hmm. no, big no. Um, <laughs> anything that I've ever dropped is Shelly's flow. I ain't never. Okay, let me let me not lie. I did a freestyle over Kendrick Lamar song. Mm. And I said, Kendrick Lamar so cold on this shit, I kept the flow on this shit. Mm. That's the only flow I've ever kept from an other artist. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But otherwise, I don't I don't look at other people's music and say, oh, let me do something like that. Because it's mm. not me. Like, it's mm. not, it wouldn't be Shelly. It would be that person. Mm. Okay. No. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, well, what's the blueprint? Is it is it albums? Is it mixtapes? Is it EPs? Like, is it is it laid out already? Is it? Is oh it no, something? everything all over the place. Okay. I got hella shit all over the place. Now I just gonna bunch it in one. Okay. Pick, 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 pick. Okay, cool. You know when you are gonna do that, or you just you know what I'm saying whenever it feel right. Um, I know I'm dropping my mixtape soon because a lot of people been asking, and the songs, some of the songs are out. And some of the songs not, so might as well just throw that on out there. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not working on the album. I have one that's mm-hmm. like in the vault, but I don't I don't really feel like it's the time to give more album project type of shit. Y'all gotta listen to the, the this shit first. Mm-hmm. I gotta listen to my old shit first before I drop any other album project. Mm-hmm. Period. Okay. So um since we don't got no album. If you could, just let the people know if they was to look up Shelly Bangs right now, what they going to see, what they going to find, what would you direct them to listen to? Matter of fact, yeah, that's a better question. If somebody watching or seeing you for the first time and you want them to tell them to look up Shelly Bangs, what and why? Well, I got a lot. Okay, you'll just give me okay. three. So, first of all, I do have an EP. It's called Mood. Um, That's not the drill side of me. That's the more poetic side of me. The whole EP is a whole story. Um, But if you really want to get rocking with Shelly Banks. What's the story about? um, Just, like, relationships, basically. Um, Going in and out of relationships. um, Getting hurt. uh, Helping niggas. You know, just just the normal. No, nigga, I ain't never helped you. Come on, helping niggas. We the muscle. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in my past, I didn't I didn't have no muscle. I was the muscle and, and everything. So um 
Yeah, it's just about heartbreak and, and picking myself back up in the end and being me and going hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So give me the, the, the top three. The three. That's the EP. What's the... The EP, um, y'all go check out any one of my freestyles. I would say my favorite one is um, Who Won't Smoke. And for one of my original songs... I'm going to say You Mad, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say Pretty In My Hands. Y'all go check that out, too. But You Mad, that's, that song is, like, one of my one of my bops. Okay. I want to know how you uh, linked up with Only One Brielle for the future. Like, how, that was dope. That, the video was dope and everything. How did y'all get that coordinated and linked up together? Um. So, Star, well, somebody uh, tagged me in a post that Starlet made and said, hey, I'm looking for girls to do this song. And she inboxed me and asked me that I want to do the song. She told me that it was already um, four, other pe four other people on the song, but they hadn't recorded yet. They just, she just knew who she was going to pick, and she needed another person. So we went to the studio. Um, we each did our own verse at different studios, but we had got together to do like the intros and shit like that. So we can vibe out before the music video. Um, the music video was dope. It was all good vibes. Um, everything was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we, You know, we just made the little group chat say, here we gonna do it here. Everybody put in their little money. Simple shit. It was simple. That was good, and it all just worked out smooth like that. Yeah, it That's did. Dope. That's dope. We need more shit like that in the city. Yeah, That's yeah. why I asked. It's, you know what I'm saying? Usually be hearing horror, horror stories about shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Nah. But that's that's dope that worked out. Okay, um, before you get up out of here, just talk about talk to me about what you working on, what you got coming up, anything you can you know what I'm saying? You could you can release talk talk to us about for us out anything. Any? Um, I do have a cipher called Pink Cipher out with me and eight other girls. Y'all should go check that out. Um, that was real smooth. Now, them my real sisters right there. So, look, y'all. Um, I'm coming out with a couple of more videos. I have the Illy Awards in a week, I think. If y'all don't know about the Illy Awards, get them tickets. I'm beat up. Yeah, period. See, up. I got nominated, so I better fucking win. Don't play with me. Go you vote. Heard just well, I think the voting over with. What? Shelly been doing her shit, so. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, um, just a couple of more singles coming out. Um couple of more music videos and then maybe and i want to say june or july we'll have a mixtape with mm -hmm. videos to every song mm -hmm. another question i got before we go um you mentioned about wanting to help the city out and do more things get back to the city once you reach you know what i'm saying that that peak because you're gonna get there because you know what i'm saying you you so raw, you know what I'm saying? You're real talented. It's only a matter of time. Are, are you leaving the city? Do you feel like you got to leave the city? Is it, Do you feel like that now? Do you be feeling like I got to go do a show in Atlanta? Or I got to get back to Cali, do another show? Or do you feel like Chicago is a good place to, to do your music career? No, I definitely want to go to other cities and do shows type shit. But I don't see myself like leaving my home, mm -hmm. you know. I can have a house somewhere else, but at the end of the day, I live in Chicago. I'm from mm -hmm. Chicago. It's my city. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I want to be rich, have some vacation houses, you know, book me for a show. Okay, I fly out, but I'm coming back home, mm -hmm. you know. For sure, for sure. All right. Um, let me see. Talk to me. I want to know, back to your support system a little bit. Um, a lot of artists I talk to, they say, you know what I'm saying, their biggest fans is people that they don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Hell so, yeah. Talk to me about your media support system. Like, are you sharing music with your with your, with your mother, your your father? Yeah. Are, are your friends resharing and reposting? Is Could they be better at it? You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, actually, none of my, and, I, and I'm putting y'all on blast. I don't give a fuck. It's Shelly. Um, my mama definitely play my music all the time. So does her husband. Uh they just had a Super Bowl party and Shelly Bangs was playing nonstop. Um, my friends don't share my fucking music at all. They do come to shows, but they I, I don't even know if they listen to the shit. And these are friends that I've had since I was in kindergarten. So no, no y'all fucking don't. Um, don't nobody from high school, none of that. The only people who share my shit is people who literally I don't know. Mm -hmm. People who I don't know. My cousins share it. Most my family they good, but everybody else no. Is that something you gonna like pay attention to? Like when you do blow up, hell like, yeah. Hey, I won't fuck with me like that. The same energy, bro. Literally, like. So you ain't gonna be like, man, 
Forget nah, all that shit. Bro. It's a new leaf. It's a new chapter. Nah. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. Like, you can't... Bro, I literally cut off two of my best friends last year because, first of all, I, I don't like hearing the talk, oh, Shelly, when you get rich, I'm going to do this. But you not sharing shit. Like, you not, you not telling nobody. You not sharing it every day. A bitch, a, a bitch would literally put two phones and an iPad together, streaming Nikki whole fucking mixtape, and go to sleep. Let that bitch loop. But you can't do that for your homie, y'all bitches. Cut the fuck off. Fuck, is you talking about? Cut off. I don't, I don't like that shit. If a bitch come and tell me I just streamed Nikki Pink Friday for for six hours on a loop and I went to sleep, what? But you, but you waiting for me to get rich so you can do what? Get the fuck on. That's a true story? Yes. Why would she even say that? Why would you say that? <laughs> Shorty, cut off. Oh, sure. You and your sister, bitch. Damn. What's her fuck. name? No, I just like. Francis. Damn. Oh, this Shelly Bangs. Fuck. Damn. I well. <laughs> I don't care. Right, this is this is an awesome interview, man. I, I definitely you. appreciate your time. It's the most valuable thing we have. You know what I'm saying? Before you get up out of here, let the people know where they can find the music, where they can follow you, where they can work with you, all that good shit. Everything is Shelly Bangs. That's C-H-E-L-L-Y-B-A-N-Q-Z. Everything. I forgot a question. You mind if I ask you another question? Nope. All right. Um... What's your opinion? Like I said, the first time I seen you perform was at Tribe, I believe. Well, that's the only time I seen you perform. Was that Tribe. <laughs> but uh, what's your like opinion and views on like the slot giveaways, the contests, the um? That's a good question. The shit like that. What's your what's your opinion, your views on that? I feel like it's bullshit, and I'm done with all of that shit. I'm done with all of it. I get text messages every day talking about that. First of all, it just be every weekend, Friday. I'll be Shorty, the fact that you have to pay for that is, as an artist, is crazy because same people. Not I'm sorry, like y'all literally texting me, "Hey, Shelly, come to this show," and you telling me that I gotta pay, or if I don't bring people, bring twenty I, people, and you get in for free, <laughs> or you bring twenty people, you can perform one song. Right. Like what the fuck? Like no, that shit ass. That shit trash. Like I understand Chicago a hustling that city and we get our money, but y'all do not help the artists in no kind of way. Like y'all don't help artists. Period. Y'all tax for everything. Motherfuckers even tax if I shoot a music video and and I want it on my page, it costs extra. Like that shit that shit crazy to me. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It is what it it is what it is. If I pay you for a music video, that is my video. I don't give a fuck what kind of edits you put. I don't give a fuck what kind of software you purchased to do that shit. I don't care. That's my music video I paid you for. You invested in yourself to, to have that quality that I'm paying you for. And y'all y'all taxing. That mm. shit weird as hell to me. So I, I asked you that's a question I've been asking recently. Because me personally, I, I when I first... Cause I started doing this around like COVID. So like I don't got like no background. Like I ain't know it's like a Chicago underground music scene. I ain't no more folks rapping and shit. I'm sure. Yes. So it's like when I get into this shit, I'm sure I didn't lost my train of thoughts. So we're gonna get up out of here. <laughs> oh shorty. <laughs> oh sorry. In a minute, gang.